Wow, all right, what is up? It's been a, a couple days. As I saw in the last video, I went to Orlando. <sighs> Water, so good. Uh, to take some tests. I was there for five nights. Four days, five nights, that's how it goes. Yeah, um, and I thought I was gonna record, I brought all my stuff, but I was really, really busy, which I totally thought I was gonna have some time to record, which I'd have a little bit of time to record, but in that time I didn't want to do it, and I hate, I don't like trying to do it on my laptop, so it is what it is, I just didn't do it. But I took um, exams in house pest and termites, so kind of how it goes, a real quick rundown, is I have a lawn and ornamental company, which means I treat lawns, you know, fertilize them and treat the insects and fungus and the weeds. You kind of have to know what you're doing to do things like that. And we use special product and all that. But for every category, which is a house pest, like roaches, spiders, um, mice, all that stuff, and then termites for termites and to do WDOs, those are all different complete sections. And to get those licenses, you have to have experience, you have to have people sign off on it, and you have to take a very expensive, very, very difficult and tricky state exam. Which I did. It took five days in there because I took classes, and there's a guy who takes, uh, teaches these classes that helps you pass the exam. Honestly, there's almost no way of uh, passing without taking the classes. Mm. Wow. But what I want to go over is what happened while I was there. Now, I never really did good in school. I found it difficult. Um, I didn't really apply myself either, so that's part of it. But even if I felt like if I did sometimes, I guess when I did, but I was never good at studying or test taking. I mean, CD student. I almost thought I almost wasn't going to pass high school my senior year. It was so bad, but I think... Uh, a dean who really liked me, kind of took care of me a little bit, but never did good in school. Never liked school, anything like that. And I took my, my lawn exam last year, obviously, because I have my business now, and I got just I got a 94 on my lawn. These are two four-hour, 200-question test exams. I got a 94% on my lawn, a 90% on my house pest, and an 87% on my termite, which I'm a very big lawn guy. I'm not very big in the house pest and termite, but I had a very small window to get this license so I took the opportunity, seized the opportunity and did it. But my the I went to the same class I went to last time and, and I did as I did house pest class, termite class, then house pest, then I forget all my termite, house pest, then study that night for the house pest test, and then for the termite test. So it was like class, class, test, test, not class, test, class, test. So it was a little bit difficult there on doing that. But something that was really cool and really hit home with me is my instructor remembers and know I did well. And he praised me for it. And he kept praising how smart I was, which my parents always have because they're supportive and I love them and they love me. So my parents always have, but you know, you take that, I feel like I take that a grain of salt, you know, it's like, well, they love me and say I'm smart because I'm their child. Of course I am, you know, to them. Even if they saw I wasn't, it's not like they would say it. But really never, never anybody on the outside said I was I'm here for starting my own business, but maybe, maybe not, you know, because it's been harder than ever doing, you know, living life and doing things like that. But academically wise, like test, I was being praised as smart. And, and he recommended to get other people for me to help them study. And I did. And well, you know, we studied together. But he was like recommending, you know, people to study with me and have me help them pass the test which is like never happened in my life like it was crazy and I'm not this is not trying to brag about it or anything like that but when this is something like this has never happened you've never been considered smart or good at studying or good at tests and then all of a sudden you're being praised for it and I did really well because how much time I don't know that well and these guys are all that's all their field like my field with lawn and I was helping them, you know, was the way the way I studied and took these tests, and I was being praised for being smart. I was I was the first one to finish every test every time. I was the first one back, and when I came back, my the instructor, you come back after, and the instructor's like, I knew you'd be the first one back. I mean, he's just like, you're so smart. 
And it's just, it was just crazy to me. I have never experienced that or had that in my life. But what that goes to show you is the mindset you can have if you really want to make something happen. No excuses because it's easy for me to say I'm not good at tests or, you know, blah, 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 complain, complain, you know, barely pass or not do it or make excuses, whatever. I wanted it. I had to have it, so I made it happen. And by, you know, them not knowing my history, this guy just assumes I'm smart. I did well academically, I'm just a really smart guy, which I don't feel like I'm a dumb guy, but, you know, really, really smart. It's just like, oh, whoa, calm down there, guy. I'm just doing my thing. So that really hit me hard, just to someone to say that. I, I was smart and, and recommended me to help them study, which we did study in the group and everybody did well. And I met a lot of great people and got some contacts, and it was really cool. But I've just never had that in my life, and I really want to hit home with me and show people that it's not wherever you're at in life. That's you know that's not where you're stuck. You can you can change your mindset, which before when I was in the funk, you can change your mindset, and you can go get things that you never had before. Like in my example, to, you know, taking the tests and, and and being considered smart, and my my instructor seeing me as a really really smart guy and recommending me to you know other people to help them study and things like that I mean never in my life would I had that and if I told any of my teachers I've almost I've ever had you know none, none of them would believe that not because they would say I'm dumb but just because I was so unfocused and I never cared and I was a goofball and all that but it shows things can change I mean put your mind to it and make it happen that, that's pretty much the point of this video and that's really all I want to cover um, it's, it's really cool and, and, and great experience. I don't think I'll ever forget that. Being, you know, feeling like, I don't want to say the smartest person in the room, but just being seen as someone very intelligent can academically do well, but it's just really me putting my mind to the things that I really, really, truly want. And I did. And I passed my test! <laughs> what?! I passed my test! I worked so hard those those five days studying. It was oh, I passed those tests. So I am a certified operator, which means I can start a, a, my own business in that cordy. Co uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm excited. In that category of house pest termite, and I already have my business and on. I don't know what I'll do next, but I have those things. And I also talked to a guy about the things I'm doing now, and he and he gave me some insight and, and referred me some people too. So some really great business contacts. But uh, the world is what you make it. And if you want it bad enough, you can find a way to make it happen. Life is amazing. I'm super, super happy and excited with where I'm at. And it's been a lot of hard work and making sure I need to stay focused and keep going, working hard. And I hope everybody can do the same. If you're ever in a bad spot and you watch these videos and you want to message me uh, or comment or anything, please feel more than welcome. I'm glad to talk to anybody and I'm sure anybody can help me. You can learn something from anybody and I promise you that. So everybody, rise and grind, stay persistent, you can do what you want. If I can be considered academically smart, I, could, I can't, <clears throat> I can't even say the word. So you guys can do anything. I 100% believe it, and I hear people say it, but I used to not believe it till I did it. So, really cool, great video, I'm dragging on. So everybody, rise and grind, work hard, and I'm going to keep back on a video tomorrow. I'm going to go to the gym.